Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayal. Today is Tuesday, January the 7th, 2013. I bring you greetings. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, I encourage you to open up your heart to Jesus and welcome his greetings of love. Receive his greetings of love and give that greetings of love to everyone throughout this day. I invite you to continue our meditation on the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 12. Today, let us focus in on verse 31. Jesus says, Every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven except the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Now, what does that mean, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit? First of all, we are guaranteed that every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven, even against the Son of God. But Jesus says, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Among the scholars, there is a lot of debate and discussion about what does it mean to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. My own opinion is, or my own understanding is, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is, in fact, blasphemy against oneself. The Holy Spirit is within me. When I blaspheme the Holy Spirit, I am blaspheming myself or bad-mouthing myself. That's what will not be forgiven. Sisters and brothers, how important it is for us to act and feel and speak according to the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is within us that we may think good of ourselves, feel good about ourselves, and speak and act, goodness and good. The Holy Spirit always guide us to good thoughts, good feelings, good, uh, good action, good words. Throughout this day, let's keep on asking Jesus to reveal to us what does it mean to blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. He's the only one who can teach us what it means. And not only he can teach us, but he can guide us against blasphemy, blasphemy against anybody, bad-mouthing anybody, everybody. Sisters and brothers, throughout this day, let us glorify God. Let us praise God. Let us praise Jesus for giving up his life on the cross that we may have life in abundance here upon earth and all eternity. Jesus has chosen to come and live within us. When we give ourselves to Jesus and try to be his friend, his friendship with us will keep on growing. Then we don't need to be afraid about what is blasphemy because Jesus is with us and he will guide us not to blaspheme, not to badmouth the Holy Spirit. Throughout this day, let us glorify God for giving us the Holy Spirit. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. <clears throat> Eternal Father, we thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit. When you placed a little bit of yourself you place the Holy Spirit within us. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you for giving up your life on the cross for all our sins. Oh Jesus, continue to live within us, giving us the conviction that all our sins are forgiven. Oh Lord, Help us not to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Teach us not to do that. 
but glorify you, glorify the Holy Spirit, glorify the Father throughout this day, throughout our life. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.